Can you walk us through, Ty, what you're going to introduce here, our upcoming Paper Wars issue release that's going to be coming pretty soon? Yes, uh, the end of the month, I understand. It's a what if uh, game, Operation Isabella. Uh, it, uh, it will be a new topic to many people out there. Mm -hmm. It covers, uh, a few people know that in August 1942, the Germans came within a card's throw of invading Spain. And uh, the, uh, this has only been covered in the hobby. I believe there was a scenario in uh, one of the GW Europa games and mm -hmm. an old 3W game from uh, the early 80s. Uh, none of which were really based on the historical reality of the time. And uh, the thing is, there was immense tension in the Franco regime uh, as the war got going. Uh, for instance, when, when Barbarossa began, they put out a call for 18,000 volunteers to form the Spanish Blue Division. Within three days, they had something like eight times that number of people came forward mm -hmm. because there was a very, very deep anti-communist sentiment in Spain because it was only... Stalin's intervention in it that had made the civil war last so long and be so bloody. So there was plenty of people in Spain uh, looking for revenge. And so there was a faction within Franco's Falanges party to join the Axis and really get into that war. Whereas the rest of the junta, they were basically monarchists. They were not fascists. Mm -hmm. They had only acknowledged uh, Franco as leader of the junta because Hitler said he would not send aid to a committee. And so he, he forced them to adopt the Euro principle that is ruled by one man, and he picked Franco. And so there was this tension between the Carlists and, and the, uh, the fascist Falanges, and this was coming to a head. Hmm. And the, the, uh, the general who was in charge of the Spanish Blue Division in, uh, in Russia, which was up at Army Group North, uh, really impressed the, uh, the people in Army Group North. And Hitler met him, and he liked a guy named Munoz Grandes. And he said, you know, if you'll send me and my division back to Spain, he says, we'll march on Madrid. And the plan <laughs> was basically they would arrest Franco and just make him a figurehead. And then they mm -hmm. would bring Spain into the war. Uh, and then and he said, at most, you're going to need to send a few divisions in and to, to back my play. And Hitler said, well, let's wait till we capture Leningrad this fall. Uh -huh. uh, and then because that'll make, that'll make the division really famous. and I'll give you more cachet. Well, of course, they never launched that attack because the Russians mm. knew what was coming. They kept kept aborting it. But anyway, the, had they, Grandis said, let's just go ahead and do it anyway. But Hitler, on September 8th, the, the Sixth Army broke into Stalingrad and Hitler became totally transfixed with the events in, on the Volga. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> now, what people don't realize here is if, if the Germans had done this, the Rundstedt was asked to draw a plan, Operation Isabella, and he estimated it would take 10 divisions. In other words, the 10 divisions that the, the Germans ended up historically sending to Tunisia and flushing down the drain could have been sent mm -hmm. to, they planned to supply it out of Bordeaux. The, the Vichy French part of the border was not going to be involved. And so they were going to come out of, they would have entered Spain through the northern edge that are up in the Basque country. And had they done so, they would have put the Anglo Allied entry back into Europe, put it, set it back by about a year. Uh, because with the Germans rolling into Spain, the Allies would have had to intervene there simply in order to prevent the Luftwaffe and the Kriegsmarine from seizing a whole bunch uh, of, of excellent uh, aero-naval bases from which they could have really prosecuted the war in the Atlantic. And so, in other words, Operation Torch would have been canceled mm. uh, inescapably and the, the Allies would have had to land there. So you get this real wild and woolly campaign. The Allies come ashore with the the forces that historically they had a quarter year later for Torch, mm -hmm. and the Germans come in with fifth Panzer Army. And uh, the Allied player uh, can really shape the game at the beginning because if he lands on the North Coast, he's immediately in a, in a battle with fifth Panzer Army that basically looks uh, the ferocity of the Kursk operation minus the fortifications. Or if he lands down in the Southwest, that secures Gibraltar, but then it's a long slog to get to Madrid. And the idea is you want to get to Madrid because if they get to Madrid, they can claim the reestablishment of the Republic and start recruiting Spanish on the Allied side and everything. So, yeah. So are, there options, are there options for the approach for the play? Oh, yeah. The Allies, they have total sea superiority. Okay. So they can land anywhere yeah. from the, uh, the North Coast down to Portugal. They can bring Portugal into the war. Uh, Portugal, people, that's another thing people don't realize. The Portuguese offered to enter the war on the Allied side. Their alliance with the English goes mm -hmm. back to 1986. Yeah, way back. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, way, way back. Uh, the British general staff said, no, let's keep yeah. them neutral because they've only got 35,000 troops. And if we bring them in, Spain will immediately invade and they can probably do us more good as a neutral. But in this altered situation, it's, it's uh, they've got four divisions. Uh, and, and so it's a, it's an option. And 
uh, uh, Gibraltar plays a big role in the game. And like I said, the, the big prize is Madrid because whoever gets to Madrid can then yeah. declare their own uh, republic. And it, it, the hallmark of the game is uh, savage combat action and uh, whip snake maneuver, which as everyone here knows is the hallmark of my design approach. Yeah. Uh, as is known both here in Christendom and as far east as Cathay and Sacred Dupont. So that's that's well, the whole summary of the game there. Thank you.